Hello everybody, happy 2024, goodbye to 2023. We are starting off this year by just doing a quick video on a application, specifically one of the GNOME Core Circle apps. Now these GNOME Circle apps are really cool because they, most of them are relatively simple lightweight kind of limited function applications but they all are just so beautiful and integrate very well within the gnome ecosystem one of my favorite things about the different desktop environments within the uh, linux ecosystem is the applications that kind of integrate and intertwine with the desktop environments you have all the gnome circle stuff with gnome kde has a massive suite of various applications some of them are better than others the short and simple way to say what I'm trying to say is Linux applications are getting awesome, they're functional, and they are beautiful. This right here is a simple task applica application that integrates very well with the uh, kind of GTK styling, supports task lists, notes, start, due dates, priority percentage of completion, tags, and more. And when it comes just to applications in general, this is not the first time I've checked out a to-do application. I absolutely love them. And this one is no different. I do have this installed via Flathub, so let's go ahead and open it up. And boom, here we are. This is Aaron's. Here we have the new list area. We can create a list here. We have trash. If I go right here, I can import lists, which is nice. And then right here, we have some other options, including preferences. One thing they do have is a sync provider, which is awesome. You could sync this up with either Nextcloud or Cal Dav. So you could have this synced to between multiple devices, which for something like this is kind of a critical feature. I do wish they had more options or even kind of like a self-hosting option to link it to like a MySQL database or even like a simple YAML file, something like that, or even like a file directory. That would be cool. But let's go ahead and create a new list. Check out how this looks, some of the features. Let's do, let's make this a uh, business to do. Add this list, and there we go. So within here, we have some options for this. Simple rename, delete, export. I'm gonna go ahead and just fill out some kind of generic to do things real quick. And boom, there we go. I made a little list here. And the cool thing about this list is it is an actual to-do list. So if you kind of want a little preview of the first kind of month of what we're doing here, there you go. I'm doing this right now, recording the first video. And if I go ahead and click this little down arrow, it's gonna bring out this little slider here. You can also bring it out with this button right here. It kind of switches positions when it's actually open. But here the text is kind of the main thing, what you see, you could add notes to it. It has various properties for the specific task. So we can set due dates, start dates, percent complete. So I'm this video is probably over halfway done. So I could use this plus, or I could say this video is actually 70% recorded because it's what we're doing right now. You could add tags. So this is gonna be a video. And then of course we could export it here. Now let's give this the color green and you could see it goes green there. Now if I close this out, hit this down arrow again, you can add subtasks. This one doesn't particularly have subtasks because I'm kind of doing this right now. Let's go ahead and check it off because I'm basically about to be done with this. Finishing editing home assistant video. I do need some subtasks and then finalize the edit. Boom. So those are subtasks. I haven't done any of these, but if I do check one off, you could see it will check off there. If I click on this and look over here, one thing I do wish it kind of did was in a smarter way so that like I have three tasks here, I checked off a subtask, percent complete should automatically change to like 33% or something like that. That would be kind of cool. And this one right here, I checked off the record first video. It says 100, so when you complete the task all the way, it works that way. But you also saw when I had it only partially completed, it didn't really show me like a progress bar or anything to actually see that that would be cool. And when it comes to the actual tags, if I get rid of this here, it doesn't look like there is. There's not an obvious uh, kind of functionality for the tags. There's no search or anything like that. Tags might have a functionality in like some of the syncing things, but I'm just not 100% sure at this particular moment. So a super cool little application to kind of highlight going into the new year. And again, kind of going forward, you could see some of the stuff that we're doing. I have some Home Assistant stuff coming up. Twingate video, which is what I've been using to kind of access my uh, home network remotely. We are gonna be hiring a video editor. I'm not the best video editor in the world. I do think I do okay, but if I had help doing that, we could definitely get out a lot more better content. 
finish the node contract. I have to make them a couple uh, more videos for their channel in particularly, but you won't be seeing the sponsored by Linode videos anymore on the channel as they are not gonna be doing that for not only me, but anybody else. Which on one hand is a little disappointing, but ultimately it is kind of a uh, good thing for the channel in my opinion. And then lastly, we are going to be updating Homar. I made a whole video going over Homer and I recorded it. And I think either same day or like the day before I scheduled it to upload, there was a massive update in which they changed a lot of things and that requires a, an actual storage location for some things. It's, uh, it's gotten a pretty good update. Now, ending off this video, I do recommend you subscribe to the Tech Hut newsletter button right here. There's a lot going on, including the Linux market share being at an all-time high. We can see the chart right here. Granted, these are in a half percentage points. That is still a um, uh, almost four to basically one. So that's like a 300% usage increase in the last decade and a half or so. So there's something that happened around here where people were home and wanted to kind of try out some new things. Uh, <laughs> Some new applications, new uh, distro releases, and this is the actual GNOME to do application. So if you are already subscribed, you already knew about this, congratulations. And with all that, as you saw in my kind of to-do list there, there are some cool things coming. I do hope you enjoy. And uh, let's, ha let's have a beautiful year. We're in a new house, new studio, a lot more opportunities to do fun things. If you have any suggestions, please leave them down below. And with all that, I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and good Bye.